Tony Blair was criticized by Prince Charles for seeking to transform the royal family into something more pompous, according to a biographer. On May 2, 1997, Tony Blair won landslide Labour victory when he moved into 10 Downing Street as Prime Minister. Prince Charles, like every power broker, was in awe of the conjurer of those arts, Tony Blair, writes biographer Tom Bauer in Rebel Prince, The Power, Passion and Defiance of Prince Charles. The Prince of Wales and Mr. Blair had first met at a dinner in 1995 at St. James's Palace. Mr. Bauer wrote in the 2018 biography, Blair was hardly a passionate royalist. The book explains that only the previous year, he advocated a smaller, Scandinavian-type monarchy, curbing the rights of the royal family to engage in public controversy. Mr. Blair suggested the Queen needed to decide whether the monarchy should retreat into isolation and the old hierarchical order, or seek to become more like a normal family. According to the author, the former Prime Minister's ideas were popular in the Labour Party but was criticised by the Prince of Wales for seeking to transform the royal family into something more pompous and harder to approach. Mr. Bauer also claimed that Charles believed politicians to be dishonest, especially about young people's supposed inability to read and enjoy Shakespeare. He added, I don't see why politicians and others should think they have the monopoly of wisdom. Royal editor Robert Jobson revealed in his 2018 book Charles at 70, Thoughts, Hopes and Dreams that Charles previously blasted Mr. Blair for being former U.S. President George W. Bush's poodle over the Iraq War. Mr. Jobson claims Prince Charles believed Blair had behaved like Bush's poodle and said so. According to the author, who has written several books on the royal family, the prince was even more condemnatory when talking about Tony Blair. He writes, with a heavy dollop of irony, he, Charles, scornfully dubbed the premier our magnificent leader whenever talking about him in private. BBC's Queen and Country, broadcast in 2002 reveals that Tony Blair described the monarchy as irrationally a better system. Mr. Blair described his own background as traditionalist, saying, My family didn't have many Republican sympathies in it. A lot of people of my generation, have decided in part because of how important a unifier for the country the Queen has been that actually this is a better system rationally, not simply emotionally or as part of tradition, but rationally this is a better system.